share with us too often, but I tell you, before I say anything, I'm just being led by the Spirit here. I, well, I don't have a program. You can never tell what Brother Marlowe is going to do because I wait on the Lord. I don't approach that place until he tells me to. But Brother Paul's scripture hasn't said anything in a long time. Come on, Brother Paul. Get right on the same level, Brother Joel. Is here. Amen. That, you can step into this anointing. It's here for us. Praise the name of the Lord. This anointing is here. And I'm going to feel the anointing of the Lord. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let him bless you. 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 Appreciate the opportunity that I have, as Brother Joel said, just to be here. Yes, uh, amen. Just to be here because uh, I came from a long way off. Yes. Uh, the, the journey, uh, the way that brought me here, uh, it was a, a long journey. And it was a long way around. I heard, uh, I listened to a testimony of uh, a sister not too long back that she had been born in the church and raised in the church and had never been out in the world at all. and. Uh, how wonderful that was, and uh, I didn't have that opportunity. Um, I grew up, and you know, I went through all the different things, and I experienced all the things that the world had to offer, and I went that route. And uh, I really, I think uh, each one of them you can't really say that one of them is a, a greater testimony than the other. Come on, because Paul. if you've been here all of your life and you, if you've never been out there and dealt with that, well, that's a wonderful it, testimony. It, it, it. God's kept his hand over his right. right. covering. Uh, but if you've been out there and if, you, if you've gone through uh, some of the things that the world has and if you've uh, fallen short and you've stumbled, and I try to, uh, I try to stay positive and I always uh, have a saying that, um, you know, if I fall down and I stumble and somebody asks me, Brother Paul, how are you doing? I say, I'm either up or I'm getting up. Amen. I'm not going to admit that I'm down. Amen. I'm not going to admit that I'm down no matter what I go through. And I went the other route. And I experienced all that kind of stuff. And that's all it is, is just stuff. And so Brother Joel said it's temporary. Uh, it's not eternal. Uh, it won't give you, it may give you satisfaction for a moment, uh, just for a period of time. Uh, but it won't last forever. But Amen. there is something that will last forever. Amen. Uh, give you peace. Uh, Amen. Give, give you something that uh, you just can't get anywhere else from anybody, from any Amen. place. And it's just uh, such a wonderful thing to be a part of the body of Christ. Yes, it is. Uh, and whenever you, you finally get that revelation, uh, just how incredible that is, yes, uh, what it is to be what the body of Christ is. And I look back upon... This month is 37 years that the Lord brought me this way. Uh, next week will be 37 years that the Lord brought me this way. And uh, I didn't learn everything at once, and I certainly have a long ways to go. I've got a lot of things to learn still. I uh, heard Brother Marlowe say that again the other night. That uh, it has always, always impressed me so much about the, the Word of God and how much he knows uh, from the word that he would gladly trade all, all that he knows in this book for all that he doesn't know Amen. and get the better in the trade. Amen. And that always just amazed me so much because I just hear him just uh, rattle off whole chapters and it was just amazing to me. I, I wanted to, to be able to get that word in my heart. And uh, we, we practice that in our church. We practice that in our Christian school and our, our young people over here. Uh, every morning we do our pledges and we say that word. Have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you? Because, uh, you know, you can take this away from me one day, but if it's in here and if it's real, uh, then I've got something to stand on. Uh, I have power that uh, I can overcome. Uh, there's nothing that can conquer me. There's nothing doesn't matter what I go through. Amen. Uh, dealt with some stuff, uh, uh, health issues lately. It, it bothers me not to be able to stand here in a suit, uh, not to be able to fit clothes properly and everything. And 
uh, doctors are dealing with this and that, but uh, I'm not going to get bogged down in that. Amen. Yeah, try Amen. not to look too much like a bum if, uh, if I can at all uh, get by it. But uh, I thought when Brother Joel uh, was uh, blessing us with those words and lifting us up, weren't you yeah. lifted up by yeah. that? Encouraged. Uh, if I go home right now, I, I can say I'm encouraged in the Lord and I can go home. And I, can, I can get up in the morning and say, thank God for what I heard last night from my brother. He encouraged me. He lifted me up. But uh, about 10 years ago, probably about, about 10 years I have a, a favorite verse. I probably have a lot of favorite verses, but one particularly that I just wanted to read and just leave with you. Um, I was going to give a little bit of my testimony, but uh, I want to go wherever the Lord leads because, as Amen. I said, uh, I've gotten revelation since I've been here. The first one that I got when I came here 37 years ago, Brother Roberts was still alive at that time, and he was very feeble. Um, but I did have the opportunity to hear him stand in this pulpit once or twice, and uh, I've heard I heard him say as he was preaching, as I've heard my pastor say so many times watch the spirit watch the spirit and i always want to do that um, and try to get direction from god yes. and whichever way he's trying to take me i don't want to go down the wrong path so i'm kind of uh, just want to be led of the lord here and not be too lengthy and and not go into uh, an area that, uh, that that wouldn't tie on with what, what brother joel said but uh, about 10 years ago i had uh, my, my bible was was falling apart and uh, I, I get about maybe about five years out of the Bible. I don't know if that's good or bad or not. I don't know how many guys get, but about five years and uh, so I, mine was uh, just kind of getting kind of ragged and Brother Joel, he had this uh, had this awesome Bible. And it's a King James Bible, but it's a study Bible. It's a Matthew Henry study Bible. And uh, I don't know how some of you brethren do. I'll use a lot of Bibles whenever I'm studying something. And, uh, lately, he's been touching my mind to dig into his word and to uh, seek out some things and that he would help me if I listened to the ministry and listen to the elders and uh, study on my own, that he would give me things that he's never given me before. I believe and it. And he would uh, give me things that maybe I can help somebody with, just it. like they helped me at one time. Yes. And uh, Brother Joel, he had that, that Bible. And I said, man, that, that, is, that is something. Now, that's, it's a beautiful Bible. It's, it's got so much commentary and just so much study material in it and uh, my bible is kind of kind of ragged and falling apart and everything and, and that's all i said. I said can i see that just for a moment and i was sitting uh, next to him at the time i think i was sitting by brother joel and uh i came to church i think it was uh the following week i believe and uh, brother joel wasn't in service that night but brother don norman who was working with brother joel uh, he came over to me and uh, he gave me a box and in the box I took it out and I opened it up and it had this Bible hey, and, uh, and I said uh, what is this Brother Don he says uh, it's this Bible and it's for you and I said well thank you so well, it's not for me I said well who is it from he said like, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to tell you that but I knew who gave me that Bible I knew who sent me that Bible Amen. And I appreciate this word of God. Amen. I appreciate uh, this word of God. And the Lord told me, uh, gave me, uh, I guess you could say it's a prophecy. This will be the last Bible that I'll need right here. Uh, I, I put it away, and uh, I didn't even want to take it out and use it for so long after I had it. Just because it was so beautiful. I, was just, I didn't want to crinkle the pages. And whenever I get to working with the Bible, I start marking through them and making notes and everything. And, didn't want to do it, but it's uh, a couple of years ago. He says, time to break it out. Lord, time to break it out. The other one's falling apart. Uh, my wife uses my other one from time to time. The pages fall out and everything. But uh, I thank God for this word. Amen. And uh, I'll use this scripture. It's my favorite scripture in Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. And it doesn't really matter what you go through in your life right here. Uh, it doesn't matter. And... Uh, I want to I want to say maybe a couple things just about something that Brother Joel said about our relationships and us loving each other and us forgiving each other because until we can get to that place uh, we we cannot go any further. It's just like a, a block wall. Uh, you can't go any further with God. Uh, I I use the expression sometimes that our relationship 
uh, with each other yeah. is directly, or, or our, our relationship with God is directly proportional with our relationship with each other. If I don't love you, if I don't truly love you and, and care for you and pray for you, uh, as Brother Joel said, how can you love me? What a truth. Uh, how can you love me that you haven't seen? If you don't even love your brother that you have seen. Amen. And I'm trying to put that into practice. I'm trying not Amen. to isolate myself from anybody. I'm trying not to, to be a part of any kind of clique or anything like that. Uh, but just, uh, I want to love everyone. And, and I do love everyone. I love the church. And I love everyone that's always prayed for me through whatever it is. Uh, yes, yes. I love each and every one of you. Yes, but, uh, yes. Thank you. Whatever you go through. Uh, it, it's, it's a temporary thing, and uh, we, we have these things, and it's, it's the way that we go through them uh, that gives us strength. It, it's how we go through them. And uh, you know, I look back, and I read uh, the book of Job again the other day, and I read through there, and uh, and how he went through everything that he did, but yet, you know, he didn't blame anything on God. Just, uh, uh, he just said, blessed be the name of the Lord. And, he, and God blessed him, I forget how many times Amen. more in the end than what he had in the beginning. But the 43rd chapter of Isaiah, and think about this, and think about this tonight, if you're dealing with a problem in your life. And uh, maybe, you have, maybe you have some kind of sin or something that's hidden in your life. Uh, maybe you have a, a sickness or an illness in your life. Maybe you're struggling with something. Maybe you're having a financial problem. Maybe you're having a spiritual problem. You're just having a tough time uh, just, just getting through and touching God and having Him touch you. And there's nothing like, as Brother Joel said, that relationship. Come on, come that on. relationship Please. that you have with the Father. Uh, there's nothing like it. It's nothing like any relationship you can have with anybody here on, on the earth. It's, it's just incredible. Whenever he touches your heart and you know it's real, uh, you know it's real, and you can feel the spirit in your heart, yes, and you can. Yes. Uh, it's nothing like the name of Jesus, as he said, the forty-third chapter. And uh, if, if you're going through something, think of this. He said the first verse, but now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. And you can put your name in there if you want. That created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not. Fear not. I'm not going to have any fear. Amen. And that's, not. that's, that's something right hard. there. If you can conquer fear, yes. you can say you've done something. Yes. You can't conquer it on your own. No, because right. there will always be something that you're afraid of. There's something right here that will help you overcome all fear and help you conquer fear. Cause you to get through the darkest hour and the darkest things in your life. He says, fear not for I have redeemed thee. I had, in other words, he has taken you back Sorry, from yes. somebody that was trying to get a hold on you. Amen. They had, they were trying to get a hold on your life. Yeah, uh, they were trying yeah, to my. take your spirit. They're trying to take your very soul from you. But he redeemed. You. He took you back. He took you back. He says, "Behold, I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name." And yes, there's a lot of Joel's in this earth. But there's only one like this one. And there's only one brother Marlowe like this. Only one sister Marlowe. I have called thee by thy name. Isn't it wonderful Amen. to know that you have personally been called yes. by the yes. Almighty God. Yes. Not just to be called, but hopefully to be chosen. Yes. Uh, we've made to take in the first step. He's called us. Right. Uh, otherwise, Brother Joel said we wouldn't be sitting here. Right. But I want to take the next step, and I want to be chosen. Uh, whatever it cause, uh, takes, whatever it takes in my life, whatever I have to lay down, whatever I have to do, uh, I want to go more than just being called. I want to be chosen. I want to be chosen. Thou art mine. Isn't it wonderful to belong to God? Know that you belong to God. And when you go through these things, he said in the second verse, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with them. I'll be with them. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow them. When thou walkest through the fire, and you will, you will. But when you walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame 
kindle upon them. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Isn't yeah. it wonderful yeah. to know that we're serving a mighty God that can keep his hand over his 